Sudan's Dinda National Park has become a battlefield in the fights between humans and animals. Vast grasslands, lakes and woods are spread over more than 10,000 square kilometers, making it an important flyway for migratory birds. But the massive reserve is under threat. The population has exploded, putting pressure for new croplands on the area, which borders Ethiopia. Cattle herders pass into the park for pasture, but say their traditional grazing lands are ploughed up and that regulations are far too strict. We're from the village of Maikarato, and they gave us five square kilometres for traditional agriculture, but it's too small for us. We need more. When the park was first protected in 1935, there were few people in the surrounding areas. That's all now changed. Park officials warn that further intrusion threatens Dinda's biodiversity. Giraffes have already disappeared. The solution, they say, would be to move the villagers to the areas that fit their needs. In recent years, the Dinda Park has been exploited through aggressive cultivation, logging and hunting. These are all threats to the reserve which is considered the largest reserve in northern Sudan and has also become the last refuge for wild animals in northern Sudan. But driven by hunger, some villagers defy the bans. Sometimes they even set fires to drive out bees and harvest wild honey. Rangers can give out hefty fines to rule breakers, who also face up to six months in prison for now, that appears to have worked. But as humans continue to encroach on the land, it's unclear how much longer buffaloes, gazelles, lions and hyenas will roam the Dinda National Park.